Hey Taurus, what's up? Welcome to your reading. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. We're going to have a look at what is going on in your connection. Okay. Taurus, uh, you're dealing with someone out here who's been holding back communication a lot. All right. I feel things are very stuck and stagnant between you guys. And uh, this person here doesn't seem to reach out, okay? Even though they are desperate to. Even though they want to. Uh, I feel this person here is internally very conflicted. Okay, they don't know which way to go. External conflicts, okay, could be someone here who needs, who feels they need to compete for you. Okay, maybe you have someone in the background already. Or they just feel that there's too much drama and chaos if they communicate with you. Or they're just trying to run away from some kind of argument or some kind of clarification here. Or there's just, a, you know, a fight between their head and heart. I feel you're dealing with someone here who wants to commit to you, okay? Silently, they're committed to you, okay? Uh, no, honestly, that's not bullshit. Why I say that is silently commitment, okay, is because this person here knows who they want. They want you, okay? But they're just too slow. Why? Uh, because you're dealing with someone here who does not give so much priority to their love life or you as much as you give it to them, okay? I feel you're dealing with someone here whose love life is not a priority, which makes you... Uh, not a part of their priority money career finance responsibilities they could be very boring also i feel this person here is a very uh, routine person okay very structure oriented person very slow and steady okay and that's what they feel slow and steady wins the race so even though this person here wants to commit to you okay they wants to move things forward like quick 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 okay there is the sense of loss that they have okay this person here does know that they lost someone who they really really deeply loved so that energy, okay, that realization where I've lost someone, okay, who trusted me a lot and who um, I was very much in love with, I let this person go, things just destroyed between us, okay. So I feel there's a very strong sense of disappointment that this person has. And the problem here is that they're still dwelling on it. They have a 100% clarity that you're the one that they want. And this is something that they want to tell you also. But it's their slow moving nature, all right, which is probably making you feel like, you know what, that's never happening. This person just screwed around with me and they just messed with me and there was nothing that they really wanted. Let's clarify. <clears throat> Yeah. yeah, this person here, so I feel that there's definitely been an ending between you both, okay? And even though there's been an ending out here, for a lot of you, honestly, nothing's changed. Changed in a way where if you feel that this person didn't love me before and now they love me or, you know, uh, they didn't want to commit to me, now they want to commit to me, no. I feel you're dealing with someone here who always wanted to commit to you. Someone out here who always wanted you, okay? But they were just very scared to jump in okay they're not like your impulsive knight of wands out here you're dealing with someone here who's a slow coach okay this is someone who is painfully slow okay this is somebody who takes their own sweet time now they want to start a new beginning with you again okay they want to take a leap of faith all right and they want to start all over again what's the five of cups but yeah what's the five of cups what's the five of cups yeah, so the disappoint disappointment out here is what is stopping this person from taking action. You know how sometimes we feel like, oh, you know what, that's just over and done with. It's, 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 it's long gone, all right? Taurus is never taking me back or Taurus and me can never have what we had before. That disappointment that they're dwelling in right now is stopping them from making a move towards you or stopping them from making any movement, okay? They're not being able to change that perspective right now because they're in that low place right now, all right? Which is why things are stuck and stagnant. What's the Ace of Swords? <clears throat> yep. The communication is delayed, like I said, right? Even though they want move, to move things pretty forward and pretty quickly towards you, but the communication is delayed out here. The clarity is there. They have the clarity out here, okay? Because yes, they do see that there was a clear cut ending between you both, but they want to take their own time. Then in no rush to communicate. Again, why? Because they have no, they're not sure if you're going to take them back because sometimes somehow they feel you as pulling away from them. You know, you've completely withdrawn your nurturing, caring energies. You've withdrawn that investment from this person out here. So even though there is 100% clarity about what they need to do and what they should do, the move is still not being made because they feel it's over. Okay. All right, let's see. Now you on the other side out here, I do feel that you have stopped investing into this person. Your focus is more on your career, your finances, your goals. You're choosing to focus on your well-being. Uh, a lot of you are choosing to move on from this person, okay? It's like you're so closed off to even communication from this person. Even if this person tries to communicate, you're closed off. 
this is what the problem is this is the vibe that they're getting from you okay where even if they feel that they try to speak to you you know or they try to apologize or even if they say a small hi to you either you're going to be non-responsive or you're just going to shut them off or you're just going to backfire or you're just going to block them they are feeling that vibe from you where you are just blocking their ass off all right for flat out Fly for the eight of swords in reverse so you're releasing yourself from this person okay any kind of negative thoughts any kind of situation that you felt stuck for a very long time eight of swords and divorce you're really seeing yourself because you feel that there's a lot of fish out there in the sea and this is not the only person you should feel stuck to eight of swords and divorce yeah the waiting game is over right it's like you're done that's it i'm done waiting i'm done waiting you may feel that this person out here is screwing around with other people but that's not the case the case is their method you know their approach towards you okay it's like they're just like slow okay very slow snail pace slow okay in a way where they're not even moving their ass you know making a move plus cherry on the cake is low communication is what i'm getting here so that's even more painful all right so you feel this was a waste of time a lot of you feel this was a waste of investment time energy and i feel there is low to no investment from your side okay i don't think you're even watching them on social media anymore spying or something it's just more like okay that, that that's done and dusted you've stopped manifesting this person because you probably feel that this person is manipulative or uh, you just don't feel you have everything that you need to make it happen between them anymore three of pentacles <clears throat> you could be talking to new people three of pentacles three of pentacles maybe you still want to yeah i feel for a lot of you you want this person to put in the effort okay you want them to make the move first you're ready to put in the effort provided they are ready to take action they are ready to make that first move because you are not making that move towards them no matter what happens and i feel that's the clarity that you have that is the sure sure clarity like 100% truth and clarity in your head no more thinking emotionally thinking logically you make a move towards me and i'll put in the work i'll still i'm still ready to put in the work but if you don't take action towards me nothing's happening from my side and you're pretty sure about it you know it's like that sure what's the true source so yeah you're closing yourself off to a connection where once upon a time it was something that you wanted like a fairy tale okay you wanted your happily ever after with this person okay this is a situation here that brought you a lot of happiness once upon a time but something's draining you out now it's that situation is either not making you happy at all or you just feel it doesn't hold that importance in your life okay which is why you're being closed off now you know i think you kind of kept on dreaming about this person kept on fantasizing and you know daydreaming having wishful thinking that you and them you know it's like together forever but um it's almost like i'm hearing loving you was a losing game is what i'm getting okay it's like it wasn't any point so it's like for you it's like you make that move because i'm losing hope and if you don't make that move all right good for you but there is no move from your side for sure they're not making a move because they feel you won't accept them back you're not making a move because you feel this person's just a waste of time they're not making any move towards you so they probably never valued you that much Now as the outcome out here I do feel that there is a lot of confusion here eventually a situation is creating more confusion than it should be I feel this person out here is going to continue manifesting a new opportunity with you okay but this is again this is um <coughs> manifestation but uh, there is something that creates again that internal cloud conflict in their head which is keeping them closed off still what's the magician What's the magician? They are trying their best to create the and manifest the reality that they want. Okay. Clarify the the magician. Yeah. Holding back. They know that they need to talk. They want to talk to you. For a lot of you, this person is already married to you. For a lot of you, this person sorry. For a lot of you, this person is already married to you, or this person is already married. For the others of you, this person wants a commitment with you. okay but i feel here that even though they're manifesting you silently they're not telling you about it so taurus for a lot of you you feel this person is not interested because there's just no move from their side but that's that's uh, that's a facade that's just a lie five of wands what's this conflict about five of wands yeah see this person here is in two minds right now should they give up 
on this connection because some of them feel it's a failed long distance relationship for the others of them they're conflicted should they stop waiting and should they approach you so their tone okay their tone in their head because there is no movement right your side there's like no movement out here this person here does want to heal the connection that's for sure they want a reconciliation out here but it's like the waiting period is getting too much and i feel somewhere somehow this person here is feeling like maybe they're being overly optimistic okay what's the four of pentacles four of pentacles four of pentacles yeah this person here is at a crossroads, okay? They're feeling left out. They feel lonely. They feel isolated. They feel abandoned by you. This person could have abandonment issues. But the reason they're closed off is because they're at a crossroads. This person needs to make that choice. I feel for a lot of you, if you want commitment from this person, they're very, very close to giving that to you. I don't feel, I don't give a vibe where this person's, you know, uh, uh, wanting to choose another direction i feel they want to take a new direction which is coming towards you they are if you guys are in separation which i'm getting for a lot of you which you, if you guys are in a long distance relationship they're choosing or waiting for an approach of which is the best way to bring this uh relationship which is the best way to get this uh to you know uh dis absolutely remove the distance between you both and take the next step with you okay but i'm getting a very positive feel um I do feel for a lot of you here, this person here may eventually stop to wait and they will reach out to you, all right? But you do you, you're doing well out here, okay? A little more time so that they can digest that things are not that over between you both. I feel this person will eventually reach out. They will reach out. But yes, that waiting period, again, guys, if you're okay to wait, they will come back around and they will give you something more stable. But that doesn't mean that you stop living, right? You can keep doing you. And it'll come to uh, it'll come towards you at the right time because I'm getting temperance here. You know, I got temperance twice, which means that there is something where divine is at work. Okay, and something is gonna happen at the right time for you. All right, so don't worry about that. Bye bye.